Let us take this command. On May the 31st, 24-year-old Dotun Ogunlade allegedly lured a Facebook friend of his, 25-year-old Bosede Oguntunde, a married woman, all the way from Ilori in Kwara State to this village in Igora, Oyo State, where he supposedly worships as a prophet of a white garment church promising to solve her problems. Unknown to her, she had embarked on her last journey on earth as a Facebook friend already had plans in which she would play a pivotal role at enriching a client of hers known as Mutu Ayorinde. I've been charging with, with the woman since the beginning of this year around January. So, but before then, I tell, tell the woman that I want to come to Ilori to come and do revival. After that, I tell the woman that can she come and greet me at Ibora and said she can come. When she come, I entertain the woman into my house. When my, after second day, I call Muti that uh, uh, I've seen somebody that we can use. Uh, Mutu said I should continue on the process. I strangled the woman to death. A search on Facebook provides a further clue to Bosade's identity and her history with the suspect. Her body parts were burned and ashes poured into this little gourd displayed beside the butcher's knives. The State Commissioner of Police, Shino Olukolu, warns social media users to be extra careful. She was allegedly injected with an overdose of sleeping drug and subsequently overpowered, strangulated and killed. Be careful in moving from one area to another without informing family members exactly where they are going, either as an adult or a child, because there are evil ones all over the place. They are out there luring or suspecting members of the public to their death. This is not the first time the dangers of social media platforms have become reality. While individuals cannot be stopped from making friends or seeking help on those platforms, police authorities advise users to be cautious when seeking such relationships.